everyone. So Mitch and myself work for the Department for the Center for Student Computing here at Utah Valley University. UVU has anywhere from 30,000 to just shy of 40,000 students enrolled depending on any given semester. We currently support approximately 1,100 lab computers. We have six of us on our team here in student computing. Our responsibilities consist of six open labs where any student can come and use the computers and 24 academic labs for specific classes that are offered. We also support and maintain student printing campus-wide, and that includes mobile printing. Currently, our computer life cycle replacement is approximately every four to five years, and we re-image at least one to two times a year or more, depending on the need of the student. When I was hired on as a technician for their student computing, it was 2006, and we were on Windows XP. By 2007, when Windows 7 came about, we were using Semantic Ghost to image all our labs. As time progressed, Ghost no longer supported the needs we had, so we moved to Alteris, which was a short stint. After Alteris, we moved on to WDS, where it served us well for a few years, but did bog down the network. Around 2015 to 2016, we moved to SCCM, and then 2017, we moved to Smart Deploy with a few other departments here on campus. Smart Deploy solved many problems for us, including cutting down imaging time, as well as we did get some corrupt applications from other deployment services as well. In, we have a lab of 124 computers, and it would take us 17 to 18 hours during a weekend to get the computers ready for the semester. With Smart Deploy, we can finish the entire lab start to finish in about six hours. I will now turn the time over to Mitch, who will discuss the process we went through with Smart Deploy and Windows 10 migration. All right, good morning, everyone. My name is Mitch. Uh, what we did when we decided to change our deployment solution was we took a number of products again. We reevaluated Ghost, Alteris, WDS, um, we reevaluated all of those, see if they were viable solutions. Then we came across Smart Deploy. Um, and what really intrigued me about Smart Deploy was hardware independence. So that way we could build one golden image and just have it push out to the rest of uh, whatever models we happen to have in those computer labs. Another thing that intrigued me was just the simplicity of setting it up. I mean, we got our trial in like that afternoon we imaged five computers and they were out in production by the next day. Um, so that was really quick and really nice. Um, things have changed while we've been using Smart Deploy just based on we've been able to cut down our imaging time. As Kim mentioned, our giant computer lab of 124 takes about six hours. And our other smaller computer labs consisting of about uh, 30 to 40 machines used to take about hour and a half to two hours. Now we can get those done in about 45 minutes to an hour. So it cut our deployment time in half. Um, the end of uh, summer of 2017, 2016, I think it was 2017, we had to make a push to Windows 10 um, with new machines coming out saying we're no longer going to support Windows 7. So uh, Smart Deploy made it really easy. They already supported Windows 10 at that point. Um, one really nice thing was we were able to just grab the platform packs, our driver packs from Smart Deploy. They already had Windows 10 ones built. We were able to reimage our lab machines, and they were up and working just fine. We set a lot of things in our Windows 10 image, set it and forget it, and left it alone. Yeah.